What's up? It's Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for my photo shoot. So for you guys who have watched my video where I talked about starting a fitness journey, I talked about how I was going to be doing a 12 week boot camp program and at the end of the 12 weeks, there is a photo shoot. So this is basically what I'm getting ready for. I have a photo shoot happening today. I'm going to be doing two um, outfit looks which is a fitness shoot and a boudoir style so I'm just gonna be getting ready to do my hair and my makeup here for this video and I'm just gonna share with you guys or show you guys the one of the outfits that I am going to be wearing for the photo shoot so hopefully you guys enjoy this and without further ado let's get started to prime my face I'm going to be using this cover FX blurring primer I'm going to take a bit of that onto my fingers and gently apply that to my face. And instantly, I can see it minimize the appearance of my pores, giving me that even skin tone and smoother skin. Next, I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Soft Honey. And then I'm going to mix the two together on the back of my hand. The reason why I am mixing the two is because I like the coverage the Urban Decay gives me and I am mixing the Maybelline Fit Me to give me more of a tan tone since I just got a spray tan. So I'm just going to be using a damp beauty sponge to blend that all into my skin. Yes guys, I know, I know what you're thinking. After blending it into my face, I soon realized that it is still a little bit too light. Don't worry, we're going to contour. I didn't realize that this foundation is still way too late for my face. Oh my god. I honestly felt like I looked like a mime. To conceal my under eye, I'm going in with Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And again, blending that in with a damp beauty sponge. And to set my face, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Medium Deep. And to fix my clown face, I'm using this Morphe Contour Palette. And I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. For blush, I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills blush palette and I'm going in with Coastline. And with my crown blush brush, I'm going to be using that to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I got to work on adding some saturation to my face. For eyebrows, I'm doing this off camera using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. Now it's time for my eyes. Using the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take a pooter on a blending brush and apply that to my crease and a little bit above it as my transition shade. And I'm just working on blending well to give it that soft blended look. buns on the same brush and I'm going to apply that to my outer corners and middle crease of my lid and again making sure to blend that well to give it a smooth transition look. Now I am taking the shade Chip and with my Mikasa E230 brush I'm just going to pack that onto my eyelids. And then with my blending brush, I'm just going to blend everything together. And now I'm going to take a soda pop with my The Vintage Cosmetic Company flat shader brush and apply that to my lower lash line, giving off more of a smoky look. And next, I'm going to do my eyeliner and lashes off camera. For eyeliner, I'm using the Pretty Vulgar Gel Liner in Black List. 
And for lashes, I'm using these wispy lashes from Baddington, which I got in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. For my lower lashes, I'm using this Double Decker Mascara by Butter London. And this at the moment is my favorite mascara. And on to another favorite of mine, it's this That's Heart Elf Highlighter Duo. I really, really love this highlighter. Like seriously, just look at that glow. And I'm also going to take a bit of that cream highlighter and add that to the inner corners of my eyes for that extra pop. For the lips, I'm using this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Verona. This is another product I got from BoxyCharm, which I also love. And that's pretty much it for the makeup, and now it's on to the hair. Before I curl my hair, I'm just going to spray the hair with some hairspray to help the curls hold longer. I'm basically going to style my hair the same way I did in one of my last videos. I have a link in my description box down below just in case you all want to see it. I will be doing a fitness look. So this sports bra is from Forever 21. And then I have a matching pair of Nike runners. And the bottoms are RBX yoga pants that I thrifted. And here guys is the finished look. It's a soft smoky eye look which I absolutely love. And this is the second look that I am wearing. Alright, that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to do this photo shoot today because I've always wanted to do a boudoir kind of style, but I was never very confident enough to actually do a shoot like that. So today is going to be the day and I'm super excited because all of us girls in the boot camp pushed our butts and worked really hard to get to where we are today and I know I'm not where I want to be yet but this is just the beginning I'm going to keep continuing on with this fitness journey because it really gave me a lot of confidence confidence that I never really had in myself and now that I have that all back I'm totally loving how I am feeling and I just want to spread positivity to everybody out there you know all us women out there can be strong and positive together all right that is about it thank you again for watching if you guys are new here to my channel if you guys did enjoy this video, please do hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification so you guys can be notified too when I have another video or a new video posted. And also I'm on social media and I'll post everything right here on the screen and in the description box down below. Um, that is about it and I will see you guys next time.